Xavier women's basketball goes pink. You're watching Xavier News on the Muskie. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren O'Connor. And I'm Lucy Nowakowski. We have a lot in store for you this week, including the EA Sports Poll, Cop Beat with Andrea Perry, and as always, we'll be bringing you Extreme Close-Up with Wilmer Armanti and PJ O'Keefe. Wake Forest University and Xavier University have agreed on a 10-year basketball series starting next season that will be known as the Skip Prosser Classic. Prosser was at Xavier University for 15 years from 1985 to 2001. He was also Xavier head coach from 94 to 2001 and at Wake Forest he was a head coach from 2001 until his death in 2007. His legacy remains strong at each school. This past weekend, campus police found a stolen vehicle in Cohen parking lot. Andrea Perry has more on that story. Hi, it's Andrea again with Cop Beat. I'm here with Officer Grossman. Officer, there was a big bust last week on campus. Can you tell us about it? Sure. One of our officers uh, noticed a sus suspicious vehicle in the Cohen Center lots Saturday night and a Sunday morning. Um, when they ran the plate, it came back stolen. Uh, they managed to stop the vehicle, arrested one person for possession of the stolen vehicle, and had several outstanding warrants for other vehicle thefts from other counties. The other person was uh, furred or interviewed and let go, and we were able to release the car back to its owner. Sounds like a great bust. And also, there was some screaming going on in the commons. What was going on? We got called for a noise complaint of somebody screaming in the commons. We went over there, made contact with the person. Apparently, it was some sort of cell phone argument that everybody in the rooms around was hearing everything was fine there was no cause to that at all okay great so remember students when you're in your dorm be respectful of your neighbors because you never know who's going to be listening this is andrea perry reporting for xavier news on channel 18 the muskie over a hundred thousand college basketball fans participated in an ea sports online poll to determine the toughest places to play in college basketball and the results are in Fans had determined the 15 finalists in Xavier University Cintas Center has been chosen among them. Way to go, fans. Keep it up. With all of this bad weather keeping you in, what better way to get out than by going to the movies? John Reese has this month's scoop on the new flicks. Hello, moviegoers. Here are the new releases. Push is a movie about a group of psychics with various powers and their struggles about escaping a U.S. government agency known as Division, who wants to use them as weapons. When the time comes, they must band together for a final battle against the Division in order to escape persecution forever. This science fiction thriller stars Chris Evans, Dakota Fanning, Jaimon Hansu, and Camilla Bell. Coraline is an animated horror fantasy film based on the novel of by famed science fiction writer Neil Gaiman. The story is about a young girl named Coraline who ventures into an alternate reality using a secret door. This new reality is strangely similar to her own life, but is much more wonderful and magical. Nevertheless, when the parallel world starts to become too dangerous, she must use her resourcefulness, bravery, and determination to get back home. The 3D stop-motion picture features Dakota Fanning, Terry Hatcher, Keith David, and Jennifer Saunders. Finally, we have He's Just Not That Into You, which is the latest romantic comedy to hit theaters. The movie chronicles the romantic misadventures of several individuals in Baltimore trying to find love. In addition, in addition, they must all deal with the challenges of reading and misreading human behavior. The movie has an ensemble cast that features Ben Affleck, Jennifer Aniston, Drew Barrymore, Jennifer Connelly, Kevin Connelly, Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Goodwin, Scarlett Johansson, and Justin Long. This is John Reese for Channel 18, The Muskie.